Hey, what's up everyone? Didn't think I'd be recording another video this this soon, but I uh, just want to do a little little video because I just did my last trip to Toys R Us. Um, for those, I mean, the US and UK stores have all, all but closed now. Um, Canada, Canada Toys R Us is still going strong, which is which is great to see that it's uh, that it is surviving out there. Um, Toys R Us here in Australia is it's got about a week to go, just over a week. I think they close on the fourth or fifth of August. Um, uh, they tried to go up for sale a few weeks ago, but um, yeah, they didn't. They didn't have any any buyers, so they had to close them all down. Um, which which is disappointing for one part, but at the same time, it was sort of it was only a matter of time. Toys R Us down here has been um, not the best to buy from. They do get ex they do get some of the exclusives um, that other places get around the world, but not everywhere. Um, in terms of being a Star Wars collector, of course, I'm basing it just solely off of that. Um, and some of the Marvel stuff as well that I get. But, um, but yeah, they're not, they've never over, overly been very competitive in their pricing. Um, it's, yeah, it's sort of, you pay their price or you don't. So it's, it's kind of been a long time coming. Um, they sort of come in in the, uh, Early '90s, late '80s, I think I can't remember, but they sort of pushed a lot of pushed a lot of the smaller independent toy stores out. So there was there was sort of they sort of come in with the reputation of being a big bully um, in terms of the retail how things go. And we used to have a big chain of stores called Toy World, um, particularly here in South Australia. I know there's Mr. Toys Toy World on the east coast, and there's some other Toy Worlds. Um, there's one in my hometown left, um, but apart from that, I. There's one in the city, and I can't think of any others. But even even as little as five, six years ago, there were there were a lot of them around. Um, and they all sort of just got pushed out by, you know, internet and internet online shopping and all that. So there's no longer really a big specialty toy store anymore. Um, there's no toy chains. There's yeah, sort of department stores like your Target, Kmart, Big W. But they they just don't get what other stores get what the big like Toys R Us got. They just didn't get the stuff in those quantities, or you know they didn't get the extra bonus exclusives and all that down here in Australia. But anyway, um, yeah, it's it's a, in in a sense it's kind of a bummer because I got a lot of memories. There was a, there used to be a two story Toys R Us in the city, um, and that was it was almost an event to be able to go into the city and go to that as a kid. I remember going there in, when I was 11 years old before the Phantom Menace came out. I remember buying action figures. I, I must have been getting an action figure or something because that was what I was into at the time. It must have been the old Power of the Force two days, the buff figures. Um, and I remember going to pay and I, I, I remember it distinctly. I was with my mum and my sister and um, there was a tear off, sort of mail away offer and it was be the first to get the first and it was a mail away Mace Windu figure. So I took the slip, I've still got the piece of paper in one of my folders. Never did mail away to get the figure though. I did buy it a few years ago um, in, its, in its box still so I've got that on display. But I never did mail away, I filled it out and for some reason I think it was just mum and dad wouldn't fill out a check or money order to send off for it. So, um, so I always have memory of going into that Toys R Us in the city and just there was just entire walls of figures and I just I just remember being blown away by all these characters that I wanted and couldn't get because you know, mum and dad were on a sort of pretty strict budget when we were when we were younger and didn't really have the we had a little bit of money to spread spread around but not a, not a great deal but that's okay anyway I just want to show you some things I got today last trip to Toys R Us um, first of all is a plush Kylo Ren there was a big there was a big box of them. Um, so I thought I'd do them a favour and I'll buy one. It was not normally twenty bucks, it was ten bucks. All up I spent only about seventy, seventy-five dollars I think, so we'll plush Kylo Ren. Don't know what I'll do with it, but it'll sit somewhere. Um also got the binder folder, take the binder for the last Jedi card card set. Um I've almost completed that set. Um, it's getting to the point where I'm probably just going to look on eBay for individual cards just to complete that set. It's the journey to the Star Wars, um, the last Jedi set. Um, I'm probably 20 or 30 off completing it, but 
we'll see we'll see what I get in this pack. <laughs> um, but it'd be nice to have a good checklist that comes with the checklist. I, I tell I don't put use the binder anyway, but you know that was seven bucks or something. I can't remember. Got the uh, Kylo Ren shampoo bottle. I bought the Force Awakens version of Kylo Ren, so I thought this one would be cool to stand next to it. The Last Jedi version, helmeted version. I've got a couple of these. They're not they're not terrible. Um, and it was only like, I oh, don't know, eight bucks or something. Whereas they're normally like 12 or 16 in Toys R Us. That's what I'm talking about. They're like 10 or 12 in Kmart and Big W, but they're 16 or 18 in Toys R Us. So. Um, and I've got his dad. Again, it's this sort of 12 inch shampoo bottle looking figure. That doesn't look terrible. It's for, a, for something that's pretty cheap. It looks all right. I nearly grabbed Kira, but I decided not to. If and the, uh, there weren't no the uh, Imperial Patrol Troopers, otherwise I probably would have snatched one of them too. And lastly, I got Poe's Ski Speeder from the Last Jedi. Um, this was like so I remember I saw this for eighty dollars when it first came out, and I was like, no, I'm not paying eighty dollars for it. And they just never went on sale. Um, Toys R Us, I think, was the only place I saw them. Um, yeah, like Kmart didn't get any of the vehicles this time around. They didn't particularly sell well for um, Force Awakens and Rogue One, so I think Kmart decided that we're not they're going to stock them. Um, but I'm glad, to, glad to have this one. Um, it's a cool looking, cool looking crew, like a little um, speeder, I guess. It's going to say ship. It's not really a ship, but uh, for for the price, I decided to grab it. So I'll, uh, I'll crack this one open and have a look. I would have liked to have gotten Kylo's ship right there, but um, yeah, I didn't see many of them around. I reckon I saw a couple. I reckon I've seen a couple in stores. So whether they're popular or not, many of them came out. I'm not sure, but uh, that's cool. Anyway, that wraps it up. I was yeah, that's my little last venture to Toys R Us. Um, yeah, I guess the the bigger. The bigger bummer is that, you know, there's 700 jobs around the country, not as many as the US, obviously. Um, just don't have that many stores compared to what the US had. But for 700, you know, young people, or be it more young and old people to be out of jobs, it's, that's, it sucks. It's, you know, that's tough for a lot of people. And, um, yeah, definitely, definitely thinking of them because, yeah, it's, it's hard out there at the moment for employment and jobs and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, hopefully. Wish, wish them all well. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. Until my next video, may the force be with you.